So here we are at the newest Mass Patrick. What, so tell me about it. What, what have you changed this time around? Well, this is, uh, in terms of interior packaging, quite, revolution, quite a revolution because contrary to what uh, we do in normal cars in 100 let's say 99.9% .9 of cars around the show, they have one heater which is located right in the center of the vehicle. Uh, heaters nowadays are absolutely huge. They're as big as a, an engine, a petrol engine of a car of the 1960s. It's extremely deep, it fills the whole of the instrument panel. Which means that today we have very little uh, available space for stowage. So we took the, uh, the design challenge of developing a vehicle with two heaters two smaller heaters, one located on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side. And as a result, we've developed this absolutely huge storage space where you can actually put an attaché case if you, if, you, if you want to. Which on an MPV is really what it's all about. You want mo uh, movement and you want indeed. space to store Indeed, things, indeed, you? indeed. So storage is, is, uh, has always been a, a big issue for the designers because clearly the biggest challenge uh, of, the design, uh, of the designers today is to push the component manufacturer to reduce the size of their components. Namely, the miniaturization that happened in the electronic industry, the first pocket cal calculator were as big as a, as, a, as a phone in the 1970s, and now they're so small that sometimes they're even too small, you know, the ones on the watches. So the big issue is that in the automobile business, the components have not been miniaturized, and we have so many new things like airbags and so on, which means that glove boxes have become glove boxes. You can only put a pair of gloves. So we are fighting for space within the, all our new vehicles. Why did you feel the need to, to update the Espas? Is it because you're the market leader and you're conscious of the others snapping at the heels? Well, yes, you know, we, we launched uh, the, the Espas. We were the first to launch an, uh, the, uh, an MPV in Europe uh, 15 years ago. The first month we sold four. Uh, so, you know, when you're a pioneer, you also take a lot of risks. Yeah. And uh, it took about slightly more than 10 years for the competition to, uh, to follow up. And they've done that, I think, rather well. But basically, they designed not with a rear view mirror, but certainly with an eye looking at what the SPAS was doing. We have the advantage of having a tremendous customer base because we have loyalty from 15 years of customers. And it is through their help and a lot of children also, because we work with children, we get, get them into the design studios and listen to them. Tell us, you know, what do you think about you this them, kind of fabric? You let them pile into yeah. it and mess it up, do That's you? how we design things like storage space, uh, which looks uh, like uh, Alibaba's cavern, you know, in, in the floor of the Scenic. And here we, uh, we designed uh, these uh, special uh, type of seats where they feel they have their own environment. The great thing I remember of my childhood was uh, spending journeys at the back of, of uh, seats, fighting with my sister. So I would have my I would have my muscles in my left thigh absolutely stiff by the time I would arrive at the end because I, I fought during the whole journey for my territory. And I this is how we design cars See, for children. You, we, we think about you've them. remembered all yeah. these things from your childhood. Yeah. You put them into yeah. this car. So where next? Where does the Espace go from here? Well, um, clearly the next uh, phase is going to be for more uh, modularity, uh, greater um, ease of movement within the car, knowing that we've spent a lot of our energy trying to uh, make the seats a little uh, less heavy. Uh, they've, in fact, we've made them considerably less heavy. Nevertheless, uh, it is they, they remain still a rather awkward um, uh, operation. Yeah. So. Our aim is to design even lighter seats for the future and I'm not going to tell the competition all the new things that we will bring but we'll certainly try to maximize or optimize let's say the, the inside of the space of, of our vehicle. We continually tell our engineers gentlemen the purpose of, of uh, developing a vehicle is for it to carry as much space and to carry people not to carry mechanical bits so please keep the dirty bits as small as possible.